Okay, so if we'd like to have a container of doubles, we could potentially copy and paste uh, this container and then copy and paste implementation of these functions and then search and replace integers with double. So that would be really counterproductive and that's not a very good direction. So what we can do instead, we can uh, take this integer data type out of the declaration of this con uh, container and uh, replace it with some sort of data type like this like value t uh, in my mind stands for value type okay so this is some sort of value type somehow it is defined so now i am replacing every integer here this item and this integer right here uh, with the value type so this is just uh, within uh, within the uh, declaration of the container we haven't touched any of these uh, function uh, definitions yet so how do we specify this value type we can tell compiler that uh, at some point uh, the client will provide this value type and we will name it a type name. So this is a type name, the name of C++ type that we would like to use inside this container. And that's pretty much all it takes to um, convert this container to uh, become a container uh, of many different types. So we just want to say that this container is no longer hardwired to spe specific types, but it can be parameterized by the type uh, from the outside. If this is the code, uh, the new version of the container, we would have to provide this type right here, right? So we need to say that this is what we want uh, is a container of integers. So minor changes to, to these uh, function definitions also have to take place. First of all, this, we say that this class now has become a template. Okay, so this is now not a uh, regular class, but a template class, which requires some kind of data type to be completed. It's incomplete. It depends on the uh, type supplied by a client code like this main function so we have to repeat this template on top of our functions as well and also following the idea that this container is parameterized by something in the syntax of uh, these function definitions of a template class these are two member functions of our template class we also have to add this value type uh, as uh, uh, to indicate using the syntax to indicate that this container is now parameterized by value type okay so these are the changes that are now taking place of course value type replaced an integer right here in the set function so you can observe this is yet another place where I need to change it and the, the return type is also becoming uh, sorry uh, this uh, does not require any angle brackets uh, it's just a result of my copy and paste just like this item is of this type and the uh, uh, return type from get function is also a value type so I've made some changes quite a bit of changes right here and the only change I wanted to do on the client side is just to be sure to specify what kind of container I'm looking for. So I'm saving this, building it. Okay, and now if I run it like this, uh, you can see that it's still behaving exactly the same way. But this time, there is no hard-coded integer data type in the definition of this of this container. In fact, container size is an integer, but I'll leave it at this for now because it will also change in the future. This hard coding also will be taken out uh, in our future uh, attempts to make changes uh, to 
uh, make it more adaptable and more flexible.